Hello, I will try today to uh, do a lab about uh, wireless LAN controller and see if I can uh, manage it through uh, a web browser or another PC. So first I will need a PC or laptop. And then I can use a switch. And I will need a wireless LAN controller. Yeah. And that's the three components that I need for now. And just uh, link all the devices. More and more link from the switch to the WLC. Okay, first of all, I'm going to go to the WC. Okay. The WC. Scofic. I need to use the management uh, so I can reach it from the web browser. I'll use 10.0.0. .0. That's five. With a seven is max of two five five zero zero zero. For default gateway, uh, we don't need it, but I'm just gonna try it anyway. Let's give it a ten dot zero zero one for DNS. Let's make it ten dot zero dot zero dot two. And the management. IP address is set. Now I'm going to go to PC. And give it an IP address in the same network. So 10.0.0. And that will give it 6. Same 7 nets. Okay, well, let's make it the same default gateway, even if we don't need it for now. Zero, zero, that's uh, two, sorry, and that's not one. Okay, so everything is set. So now I can access the wireless controller through the, through the, from the web browser of the desktop. So I go desktop and browser. It's going to put others of the WC, which is dot five. Just give it a minute. There you go. As we see, we can connect to the wireless line control. I can just give it a Admin and create a password for it. Confirm. Uh, I can give a name for the system name. Let's make it Sterling. For the manager, it's the same IP address as the wireless LAN controller. That's the subway mask, default gateway, that's one. I can give, we can create many networks, but just the first time we create just one network, I can uh, name it uh, students network. And I can set a WP2 password. Let's make it um, Turkey. 
students. One. So, students, one. Okay, paraphrase doesn't match. Uh, so, we have ST1 and then ST1. So, you know, I think I need to have, okay. Let's change the password. There we go. Okay, next. And here, you just leave it as it is. Next, and everything is set. So when I click apply, now reboot the, the W, we'll see. Okay. So I just give it a couple seconds. Just wait for the WSC to reconnect. Okay, now it's connected. I'm just gonna first try to try to ping it and see if it's there's connection between dot five. There we go. Here is a connection between the PC and the WSC. Now I go to the browser and try to connect to it. Now I can't connect because now the connection is secure after sitting the uh, wireless control. It's a secure connection. Just use HTTPS. There you go. Now I can log in with my credentials, which is admin and the password I already made. And I'm inside the WSC controller. And that's all for this lab. Thank you.